OK, we are going to verify this trick identity. And to do so, we first have to remember our basic trick identities really, really well. Those should be in your textbook, and they should box it for you. And I will you know, write it down aside for you later on on the ones that we have to know. And we also have to be aware of the typical steps that we can do. And to verify a trick identity, that means we are going to start from one side of the equation like this and do the work, show that it's the same as the other side. Let me start from the left hand side first in this one for you. Beginning with this, let me write it down again. We start off with secant to the fourth power theta minus secant squared theta. And we want to show that this is equal to um, tangent to the fourth power theta plus tangent squared theta, right? But then I have to fill in all the work right here. Your teacher is not going to just going to see the answer from here to here because we know what the answer is already. We are going to show all the steps here, and that's the part that your teacher will be looking for. Okay, so we know a couple identities for secant. For example, secant theta is the same as 1 over cosine theta, but then that's not the one I want to use because in here, we have two terms, right? We have secant here. This is to the fourth power. This is also secant, and this is to the second power. We notice that both of them are at least to the second power. So what we can do, just like the just like the tick, just like the typical algebra expression, we can factor. We can factor out in this case secant squared theta, right? And then let's see what we have. So originally, the first term we have secant to the fourth power theta, but I took out two of them. That means I have two more left. So that's secant squared theta. And then we still have the minus. Originally, we have this secant to the second power theta right for the second term. But we factored it out. So that means we just have minus 1. OK, what can we do next? Here is the part that we have to know the identities really, really well. This, I am just going to leave it. But I'm going to talk about this right now. Secant squared theta minus 1. Do we know anything about that? Well, let me just work out something right here for you. We first know, and this is the famous one, sine, OK, I'm talking about sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta. This is equal to 1. But then, you see this is called the uh, Pythagorean identity for sine cosine. But then we also have the versions for tangent and secant. How can we produce tangent or secant from here, though? I'm just going to look at this and divide everything by cosine squared theta, divide everything by cosine squared theta, divide everything by cosine squared theta. And then we are going to see what we get. For the first one, we see we have sine theta over cosine theta. That's pretty much tangent theta. However, both of them are raised to a second power. So this is going to give us tangent squared theta. Sine over cosine is tangent, but then both of them are second power, so we have tangent squared theta. For the second term, we pretty much just have plus, and they are the same, so just plus 1. Lastly, we have this is equal to 1 over cosine is secant, but in this case, it is 1 over cosine squared theta, so that will give us secant squared theta. OK, what can we do? In fact, you see this right here, it's a secant squared theta. That's here, right? I can replace this with what? Tangent squared theta plus 1, right? So let me do that right here. Secant squared theta, it's the same as that. And this is how we can change from secant to tangent. And you will see this is going to help us out, okay? because we want the tangents on the right-hand side. OK, what can we do for this one here, though? We have secant squared theta minus 1. This is what? Well, if you look at this identity here, let's say if I want to minus 1 on both sides, and what do we get? This and that will cancel, and then we will have tangent squared theta, and this is equal to secant squared theta minus 1. Hey, look at that. This is secant squared minus 1. That's exactly what we have right here. And this is the same as what? Tangent squared theta then. So I will change this to tangent squared theta. And now you see, we go from all the secants into all the tangents, right? And this is what I would recommend you to do. You should definitely remember sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. And then you can do this kind of things right here. 
divide or multiply whatsoever and then to get the desired sine cosine become uh, secant or tangent like this okay all right anyways I'm not done yet because at the end they want us to distribute and once we distribute you know what the answer is anyways let's do it backwards like this and like that at the end we will see tangent square times this tangent square we get tangent to the fourth power and be sure you write down the theta otherwise all the teachers will not be happy with you <laughs> anyways plus one times that is just tangent square theta and then we are done and then if you want to do this with a strack what you can do is you can uh, put a little box and then shade it in that means you did the proof already I'm not making things up this is exactly how you can show that you did the proof that you prove that this identity you prove that this side is the same as that which you did an identity and that's it for this one